Hi and welcome to another video of Type with Me. In this video we will work with React.js in Dino. Isn't that excited? Yeah! So first of all we're gonna do a little bit of a setup of OAK. If you don't know what OAK is, you can always go to my video about OAK, Dino OAK, and follow that. So first of all, we need to import things of org, right? Then we need to set up a router. So now we're going to put a simple uh, router into place, right? Just put a hello world so we can see that everything works fine. Then we need to uh, create our application, right? So const of application. And then we do app.use to use the router routes and use the router.low methods. And then of course, when the router has not found any anything, we just send the 404 with a not found, right? So that's great. All right, so let's put um, wait ever dot listen. And now we can do something like dino index.ts. And then we also need to set a parameter, but I don't know that yet. So I'm going to copy it. Yeah. So we need to put dino dash dash allow dash net index.ts so when we go, go now to that address 127001 3000 we get hello world right so now i can create something like page.tsx right and then here i also need to import uh, something from this URL, dev.esm.io slash react, right? And the same we can do for our React DOM server. And then we can create something like this, where we have a debug. And we can do and create an HTML or a React component, right? So now we can create our page. We can export our default, and then we do react dom server dot render to string, right? And we just do hello world react page. And we show a debug with all our properties that we sent to our page, right? All right, so one of the things that I also want to change is the name here. So I'm going to rename it to mod.ts because that's the entry point of all Dino applications, right? It's not indexed, but it's mod.ts from modules, right? And then, of course, I need to import page.tsx. And it just complains because uh, the uh, the syntax for our Dino application uh, within Visual Studio Code is not correctly. So uh, we we get sometimes some errors that are not really errors. And then of course here I can use home right. So I can put it like this. And then, of course, I need to create something like const state hello worlds. From yes. 
and dino. And of course, here I need to put a comma. I also can remove router context because we are not using that. I know it's a very basic demo of how to use React within Dino, but when you see the result, you will understand why. It's very basic and you can just, of course, it's now, mm, it can be dot. Well, it will be mod, right? So great, he downloaded React. So that's nice and awesome, right? So let's refresh our page. Very curious. <laughs> great, hello world, React page. And then of course our stage that's been printed out. So it's great, it works. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. It's very easy to create and render a Dino application from um, from Dino, right? And just use that rendering function from the server of Dino itself. Thank you very much. See you next time.